Hey everyone, welcome back to WebDev Solutions. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can create customized Google login buttons like this, which works same as our normal Google login like this. Okay, so in one of our previous videos, we saw how we can integrate Google login functionality in our website. So if you missed that video, the link will be in the description. Make sure to check it. And in that specific video itself, we got a request like how to how we can create a customized Google login button like this without the official ones like this. Okay, so in this video, we are going to create the buttons like this. Okay, so these links will be in the description. So make sure to check it out. So let's see the code first. So here, as you can see over here, I have a functional component of React within which I have one function and a one button which is being shown like this over here. This is the same page and this is the same React component I'm using above, okay. So in the below over here, I have another component over here. So this is a Google login button over here, which I have over here like this, okay. So what I'm doing here is, I'm just importing use Google login hook from React over Google, which is the package we are using for creating Google login functionality. So if you don't know like how we can create it in this video, I have explained in detail like how you can integrate Google login. So make sure to check it out. So after that, let's see what's further. Okay, after using this Google login functionality, like on success, meaning like if the user successfully logged in, this function will be called and will handle the response over here. And the same thing, the response handling, everything is explained in that video. Make sure to check it out. And if there is any error, it will just show the error over here like this. Okay. So this is how it works. You just have to add a button component and on click of it, you'll have to add login. Uh, you'll have to call the login function like this. So this is the same button which I have over here. Let's see how it works. As you can see the same thing over here. If as I'm in incognito mode, it's not showing any of my Google accounts over here. Okay. So once you are running it in a normal browser, like it will, it will show you a Google login accounts and you'll just click on sign in and you'll get the response and you can handle it easily. Okay. So this code will code will be in the description, like either in the description or it will be painted in the comment section. So make sure to copy this code. And one more thing is you will have to you add this code within this Google OAuth provider. If not, it will not work. Okay. So make sure to like ensure that the button component is within this OAuth provider over here. Okay. And if you have any doubts or any queries, make sure to put it down in the comments. I'll answer that. Okay. So hopefully the video was helpful. So if the video was helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.